All right, I'm back on the skirting job here. And uh, here's, I should have been done with this for the amount of work that's actually involved. But here's the problem. I can't kneel on my knees because my knees are so freaking bad. Uh, the pain is just unbearable. So everything is bending over work. <laughs> And my back is just as bad as my knees. So this is taking me forever to do because I'm, I'm good for like three or four of these and then I got to stop and take a break. Oh, Christ. This hill is so freaking treacherous. I haven't fallen yet, but I'm, I, I'm actually afraid to because uh, I already hurt from my last fall. Here's, I just wanted to show you this. Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> That's up too high. Let me get a screwdriver and move that. All right. <laughs> well, I actually have made a lot of progress today. I've got, I'm gonna finish up to the end of that two by two there. And uh, I'll have uh, oh, about 16 feet left. Yeah, 16, right at 16 more feet to do. So I'll be able to finish that tomorrow. And uh, I will be putting an access door right about here. And the reason I'm putting it right there is because from there, I can get around all the pipes and get to wherever I need to underneath my house. Uh, a friend of mine mentioned uh, ventilation and uh, I will put some vents under here. And what I've got is these little round two inch uh, louvers. They're little vents and probably every couple of feet I'll drill a hole and pop that uh, round vent in there, but I'm gonna let this wood dry out. And the reason is if I drill a hole and, and these fit tight when the wood dries it it will be loose so uh, You know when this dries out when the wood dries I'll do that not no big deal. I'll be able to do that in Just a couple hours. I say that I should never say that because every time I say oh, this won't take long <laughs> You know it turns into you know how it goes like uh let's just say your water has has your water heater has a leak so you take a pipe wrench and you try to tighten that leak up and next thing you know the pipe that leads to the water heater that was leaking breaks and it's copper but you don't have solder so uh, you try and convert it to pvc and then you end up breaking the pvc i mean you know how stuff maybe it's just me that's how it works for me like you go to uh, replace something on your car and you try to turn a bolt out and then you snap the bolt off and then you got to drill it and tap it and get a ease out. And that's the story of my life. I'm not complaining, but uh, anyway, you've done a good job. You've helped me all day sitting there holding this skater down. And I appreciate it. There's the bunch. There she is. Oh yeah, my wife is down there cutting some more of these for me that's what uh when she cuts them i sit down and take a break so she's going to cut me about 20 of them and that is going to be it for today actually i will probably get a little past that that uh two by two i'll probably go about halfway through the next one so i'm going to have a lot done today okay golly i'm making some headway i'm going right up to the end of there i've got enough pickets cut to get that far and uh tomorrow i have to measure between this gusset i guess and the next one and then the next one and i will finish this tomorrow i'll have my door cut and everything okay boy my knees are killing me all right i got about 12 more feet to do 12 more feet and uh an access door 
and we are done with this side. And then I'm gonna do the south side. That's south right there. And that's only 28 feet. This was 58 feet. <sighs> okay, one more day. This, this is how steep that hill is. And uh, that part is red clay and it is slick like ice. And it is all downhill. I didn't roll that far. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. All right, let's get started. Another day. I've decided not to put an access hole here, but uh, just two foot underneath there is an I-beam that goes the length of the trailer this way. So what I'm gonna do is on the other side, just inside that I-beam, I'm gonna put the access door. And the reason is, if you never needed to get a roto router up under here, it would be easier to do it without having a duck under that I-beam. I mean, I'm a pretty thick fella and I can get under it, but just barely. And uh, if I ever had to hire somebody to go up under there, they'd be able to bring tools in from the other end on the other side of that I-beam. So this is gonna be solid back here. And when it all dries, probably this early summer, I'm gonna come back and pop holes in and put my little two inch vents in. So I'm gonna finish this up right now. Let's get started. Here's the I-beam I was talking about. And there, right there, would be a better place for the access door. Now, I've lost a bit a clip where I show what I was how I was attaching the pickets to this. So let me get under here. I'm gonna lay on my back and look up and I'll, I'll explain you. What I'm doing is I'm putting a two by two. You see this OSB? Well, right here is the two by six ribbon board where all the joists hammer, you know, all the joists come across the uh, I-beams get you know nailed into the ribbon board and then the ribbon board is screwed into these uh brackets these gussets here as a matter of fact here so the ribbon board is held onto these gussets by these lag bolts there's the osb and here is the uh two by six so what i'm gonna do now is measure from inside of that bracket to inside this bracket, cut my two by two and screw it up here. And then I slide my pickets. See how this is, this is something I've encountered already. There's a, a difference, a good half inch difference in height. So I'll have to remember that. <laughs> Let me see if there is down here too. There's not, so. So I'll have to make a half inch difference in uh, Sorry, I know I'm jiggling around. There we go. I'll have to make that much of a difference in how high I cut these since this side will be a little higher than this side. And right now I'm cutting them at 31, so I'll cut these at 31 and those at 31 and a half. Okay, I've got uh, one more eight foot section to do. But first, uh, see what I'm gonna need is my wife on the other end to hold the tape measure. So right now I'm just gonna measure between this and that and by the time i get this filled up with pickets my wife will be out here all right i got my board cut now what i do is uh, while i'm down here easily accessible i put my screws in at just a bit of an angle and so that way when i'm under there all i got to worry about is taking my drill driver and hitting the screws and we're done and i don't gotta fumble around because i only got two hands 
All right, let me get under there. <laughs> Good job, Breezy. Appreciate the help. I was just sitting here laying. As I'm crawling up under here, I'm thinking to myself, half my comments on my videos are from the you did it wrong people. And uh, I don't care pretty much every time I go to their channel so I can see what an expert they are at everything. They have no videos. And uh, it seems like there's more and more you did it wrong people than I can ever remember. Now so I can do, I'm not good with my left hand, so let's see. <laughs> All right, one more, but I got a skinny shinny on down there. Go, go ahead and cut three more, hun. Because uh, even if I don't use them on this side, I can use them on the other side. So you think they're going to be 32? Yeah, I don't think it gets shallower. Three more, yeah. Oh my God. One hand. Standing in my sawdust. Thank you very much. All right, let's go finish. Well, you want to ride? No, no, I meant the, what I meant was the last three you had. No, that's, that's, don't cut anymore for now. You want to ride? Okay. Come on over here. Make a little room. I don't know what the humidity is, yeah, but I'm humid. sweating. years old 14 and she's arthritic we got to give her pain pills so she can move and she moans and groans and well, actually, whines all night i was out of hustling for drugs from early i gave me some <sighs> leftover remedial because we on the we on the dope now so maybe out on the thinner hustling drugs from my old my old dog <laughs> We might catch you coming out of the back of a Amazon truck. Is that nah. what you're saying? <laughs> I don't think it's that bad yet. <laughs> the only way I'd be coming out of the back of an Amazon truck is I'd, I'd have had a pistol on him. <laughs> holding him up. No, uh, that's, a, that's a Walmart truck. <laughs> yep, I always wanted to marry a Walmart driver. The man of my dreams. Remember, 
park driver we met that helped us yeah what a nice one time guy. yep his name i'm gonna say his name because he was such a nice guy yep. i'll tell you the quick story we were living on the bayou and we had a what they call the 100 year flood that turns out happened about every two or three yeah, years that was like the third one and that. uh i had i couldn't get to my house why couldn't i get to the house because the boat was at the house right I don't remember. I think it, the water was raging too much for our little well, driver. Anyway, Jeff Shad, who later we found out was a Walmart driver, lived on the other side of the lake. See, uh, the bayou we lived on fed the lake. And, uh, oh, my God, it was flooding and just raging, raging. underneath our house. I mean, a gigantic oak tree went by. Uh, and I had, I'm not going to say how many guns, but... I had an enormous amount of guns in my house because I was I collected a particular bra brand of antique gun and I had uh, over 60 of them. And uh, I had, I'm not even gonna say how much, many thousands of dollars in them. So anyway, Jeff Shad was coming up the bayou on his very powerful boat and he seen us standing there scratching our heads wondering how the hell we were gonna get our belongings and our gun collection out of the house and he pulls over to the bank where we're at and he offers to carry me to my house through the floodwaters so i take him up on it and i'm just truly appreciative i told him we were truck drivers and we got stuck out and when we came home this is what we came home to and he said oh, i'm a truck driver and turns out he was a Walmart truck driver. No, so anyway. I wanted to take him home with me and you wouldn't let me have him. Yeah, I, you have your own truck driver. Well, anyway, I gathered up all my guns and I rolled them in blankets and I laid them in his boat. And uh, got him back to the bank. Got my guns out of his boat. And as he took off, what happens? His boat gets swamped, tipped over, caught in the floodwaters. Uh gas tank washed away life preservers fishing boxes uh we managed to get his boat out of the flood waters and pull it up on the bank and dry it out and uh he called somebody to bring him a gas tank it was a nightmare and that was one of the deciding factors of us oh absolutely selling that house and moving on to dry land because being truck drivers man uh we never knew when that was going to happen and you couldn't get to the house and uh, our house never did get underwater, not never once, did. but it, it lapped up on the door. On uh, the floor <laughs> joists, it was lapping at the floor joists. Well, here was the deciding factor about us moving, was that same flood, we took the boat to the house and the water moccasin swam to get in the boat with us. <sighs> yep. And I freaked out. You freaked out. I did. I remember I that. mean, I'm not, I'm not proud, I will admit, I am not a person of snake. And I had to scream and yell and threaten you to get you to sit back down. You were going to tip us over. I remember that. Yeah. Well, that was that and I then, put my little foot down and said, we're, we're out of here. I thought you uh, brushed your cat. I did brush my cat. Well, now you need I to brush I brushed her you. while she was on me. And I brushed her with my welding gloves just in case she was uh, not going to take the brush too well. Anyway, <laughs> that water moccasin, I hit it smack dab on top of his head with an oar really hard. And that knocked him... Uh, crazy long enough for us to get the hell out of there should i pack you an overnight bag for so i can spend the night with my cat yes yeah, so for no. a sleepover down there no i'm just gonna sneak my cat in the no, bedroom no, window no. and nope no nope burr <laughs> it's not a secret youtubers i am not a cat lover well i didn't not think i was a cat fan. person either well but... i grew up with them my entire okay. childhood. That's enough story for now. I really wanted this video to be about you? skirting. <laughs> well, yeah, me. It's all about me. But uh, I've already, I guess it's that ship has sailed. So, yep. Alrighty, I'm going to finish this up. Let me finish that story where Jeff Shad tipped his boat over and lost a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> we found out where he lived. <clears throat> and uh, my wife and I went to Walmart and bought brand new all the stuff that he had lost and brought it over to him because uh he did a really heroic thing going in that water and uh you know that raging flood water and helping me out and uh anyway 
uh, we didn't leave him. He lost a lot of stuff, but my wife and I went and replaced it all and thanked him profusely. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to finish up. All right, are you going to do the dirt on? Okay, that's 58 feet. Uh, how much, how many uh, pickets do we have left, hon? I don't know, but I don't have to buy that many. Let's see, that's 28, 20, 28. feet wide, so I need... 28 uh, more pickets, uh, minus what we have, right? Well, one picket is one foot, so... 28 pickets, that's 28. And then I think we've got maybe like six... Oh, okay. So, so we still got to buy more to go around the right. front to the porch. So I figured about another hundred and fifty bucks, and we would have all the way all around way. to the porch, or just this side. No, all the way around to the huh? front porch. Oh, okay. That's, well, that's not with bad. The two four by fours, if you rip them, right? Yep. Yep. So. Okay. There is the uh, mobile home treated lumber picket skirting. And, uh, and then you'll video me painting hey, for weeks. Yeah, come early, late spring, early summer, she's going to paint this brown. Like it was. Like it was, yeah. Okay, well, uh, we're done. Thanks for watching.